Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to look at three classic backhand mistakes that players make. And most importantly, we're going to look at how to fix them. So, if you want to get a better backhand, a more consistent backhand, a backhand which can develop into an attacking weapon, then keep watching. The first classic backhand mistake we're going to look at is reaching for the ball. So, often see this, somebody's played a, a good backhand, yes, and then another one, yes, and then the ball goes wider, and they do that. They're not a good backhand. They play a poor shot or make a mistake, and then lose the point. So why is reaching for the ball no good? Well, let's look, see what happens. Here's my regular backhand. Now if I go to reach the ball, watch my elbow. Let's see what happens to the elbow. The elbow's gone across my body. I now can't play the shot in the same way. My shoulder's here, my elbow's here. I just can't play the same shot, so it becomes a different shot. And look at my bat angle becomes much more difficult to control the bat angle when my elbow's in this position. So what should you do instead? Well, instead of reaching for the ball, you've got to move your legs. Now, if you move your legs, then it's the same backhand as you played over there. Let's do that again. Ball's here, backhand, backhand. Ball goes wide, move. And look, if you look at my elbow position now, my elbow position, my shoulder position stays the same. So, it's the same shot. So, to cure yourself of the reachy, you've got to move your feet. Then you can play good backhand there, good backhand there. The second classic backhand mistake is reaching forwards for the ball. And I know this one well because I do it all the time. Uh, frustrates me a lot. <laughs> so, why, what happens when we reach forwards for the ball? Well, no, normally a couple of things. If we watch in slow motion, reach forwards for the ball, you can see how the bat angle just kind of lifts up at the end as we try to contact it there. So we lose control of the ball. My elbow position's completely gone. I have no ability to use my forearm, so it ends up just being trying to hit it with flicking the wrist and you lose control. So, ideally, we're going to want to play the ball closer to the body. Let's get a ball out of my pocket. And ideally, so we have our backswing, we're gonna play the ball just in front of us here. Good way of thinking about this is imagine there's a circle around you here. You want to play that ball just at the edge of the circle. We don't want to go outside the circle where we start having to reach forwards for the ball. You want to play it just at the edge of the circle there. Then my elbow position here, I can utilize my forearm if I'm driving the ball. I can use forearm and wrist if I'm trying to spin the ball. The third classic backhand mistake people make is starting with their back position too high. When your back starts too high, you end up finding yourself hitting down on the ball too much, which can send the ball into the net, or to compensate, a player will kind of open up the bat angle and try and scoop it over that way. So this is a simple fix, this one. If I'm saying we don't want to start with our bat up here and go down, well, let's do the opposite. Start with our bat lower, just above the table, and that allows us to play forwards and up, which means we can either drive the ball or we can add some topspin onto the ball, but we've got a forwards and up trajectory. Now my elbow has returned back to this more relaxed position, my shoulder's here, ball comes through low, no problem, drive, topspin. 
So if we look at some footage now from a couple of very good junior players, we've got Teodoro from Brazil and Juan Perez from Spain. And you can kind of see how they're both trying to take the ball, contact the ball, you know, just at the edge of this circle in front of their bodies, how their bat starting low, moving forwards and up. And again, how you can't quite see it from this angle, but how they're just trying to take the ball um, in front of the body, not to the side of the body, they're playing the ball in front of the body and they can play this fast backhand to backhand rally with high consistency, um, good speed, good spin, keeping the ball nice and low over the net. And this basic form, allows you to play with a much higher consistency and it will allow you to develop in the longer run I think much more powerful drives or spinnier top spins um, but the important thing first of all is just to get the shape right to get the form of this technique right and then you can develop it into something much better thank you very much for watching hope this video helps you improve your backhand shots. If you like the video, please subscribe. I will have more videos coming soon. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.